Okay, uh, I'm here to hear Thomas' view on uh, uh, media companies. If you're offered a work consulting on a media company, what is your answer? The rule in the company I've, I've held co-found is that Social Square is that uh, you know they don't work for co for media companies. They've gotten a lot of interest, you know, that people want to have them help, but it's like the, the rule is no media consulting. Why media companies can't change? I think the rule is you wanna you wanna work with a company that that does something real, like uh, build ships or sh do milk or milk processing or whatever you know do something real. And uh, if you have if you have something that's so immaterial and being dis intermediated every day, you know you're struggling so much. So I would much and also I would love to help the, the struggling new entrepreneurs reinvent media as opposed to taking somebody that's been doing the same thing for a hundred years and now on the, on the brisk of uh, bankruptcy are starting to think they should change just a little bit. Because they're, they're sort of running for the, trying to be rescued. It, it, it's sort of a losing battle for the I media company? I, I think it's a losing, losing battle. I think it's a field that needs uh, entrepreneurs. We need to see new solutions to how to deal with a co very complex world. How do you deal with, with uh, deducing all the information in the world into what's real and getting a real deeper conversation around it? If you look at, an, at a newspaper or media today, the, the level of sort of understanding that's being brought forward is so lackluster compared to, compared to any conversation that uh, five people will have around a dinner table in terms of the complexity of the world and how things interrelate. So I think we need totally new solutions that support sort of the broadsheet that's what has happened in the world yesterday, which has so much bias and et cetera. Okay, so you're a super media pessimist. That's me. <laughs> Thank you.